Hi. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm alright, not bad. <laughs> How are you doing, William? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so, um, Alex, uh, my first question is, doing the freelance journalism, what type of media do you use the most when you do journalism? <laughs> well, what media as in, I use Word, and I use, I use my laptop, which I have with me, and what I do is I either come up with a story pitch and send it to my contact from the Times of Malta, and if he likes it, then he gives me the go-ahead. Or, or occasionally he sends me stories to do and uh, asks me if I'm interested in doing it. and Or I have a voice recorder if I'm doing interviews on my phone. Right. And um, how often do you like uh, have interviews or question athletes? I've never questioned an athlete. Who I have questioned is a, a doctor, a specialist on asthma. And I've also questioned a bunch of musicians and bands. Oh, and um, and uh, w and the editorial meetings. Um, how often do you have to do them, and do they come up as a challenge sometimes? The uh, thing is, we, I don't think we we don't really have editorial meetings. All all my dealings is done via email. So what I do, what I do is I would um, if I'm finished with a write up, I would send it to my contact in Times of Malta or my contact on the Circle, and. Um, they would they would usually they would usually tell me beforehand what the word length needs to be and what the layout needs to be. For example, intro needs to be uh, you'd introduce the blah blah blah, and then and then the interview that let me know if it needs to be just transcript directly or if, or I need to involve my words more and then bring in the key quotes. Uh, the only time I met him was before I did my first story for Times Malta, and we just had a long chat about how it would pan out and what would, what would be the deal like we we found out we don't really need to have meetings where we meet in person because we found out every meet, everything we need to know first time we met um and when you're involved in an in industry right how much involvement in the um in the newspaper industry as a freelancer compared to a full-time journalist oh yeah that's a really good question because i recently experienced this because i needed to do well i wanted to do a story um, I can't exactly remember what it was, but I wanted to do a story which was which involved the police matter as well. So I sent it to my contact in the Times of Malta, and he said what I'd need to do is I'd need to get her side of the story, this, this woman who I want to interview, as well as the police station side of the story. And um, But I wasn't allowed to do that because I am not a, a full-time journalist, because when, when it involves a matter of policing or, or you know, government issues um, they usually they usually full-time journalists he'll deal with that how often do you like do journalism about sports um, I, oh well um, I do I do quite a bit of journalism about sports because uh, apart from being a freelance journalist I'm also a part-time content writer for fantasy football so I have to write at least two articles a, a week regarding sports. Hmm. Uh, football specifically and um how often and um what's which sport of uh, which sport of the article do you do the most the, just because of the um because it's just it's just, just a football site the one i work part-time it's just it's just football it's just either football or uh, uh football gaming the mm. fancy football it's just there's no other sport involved um how much involvement um do you have with a graphic designer. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's important to have a good amount of communication and cooperation with a graphic designer. For example, I'm doing two articles a week and a month. There's also two infographics involved. So if I pick a player on, let's say, Liverpool, and I need to pick, I need to pick the picture. I need to pick the stats. I need to pick the numbers. I need to tell, I need to tell her where they need to be. So that's why the graphic designer and the content writer work in the same office. So we usually communicate verbally, or I can just send her an email. And um, uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a uh, quite often it's it's important. And she, my graphic designer, personally, she's very good. She's very good at what she does. So I'm kind of the director, and she does the um, she does all the work of the of the, the infographic. Oh, I see. All right. Um, thank you for your time, Alex. Thank you, William. Cheers. It was really good. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Oh,